Hi guys, this is Penny Henry from Crave for Christ Designs with another review for you. Today, I'm not going to review a Bible, I'm going to review a devotion book. It was sent to me by a hatchet group. It's called Quiet Times with God Devotional. 365 Daily Inspirations. It's by Joyce Meyer, the teacher. And she is also a number one New York Times bestselling author. It was put out by Faith Words, and here is your ISBN. This by this devotional is the one I'm using right now. Um, I just finished the devotional a couple days ago, but um, anyway, this this one seems like a good one. It does not have a ribbon, which is the one thing that I was wishing it did have that it didn't have. Okay, so. I'm also going to read a, today's devotion to you because uh, when I started it this morning, it, it just really spoke to me and I think it will speak to you in these times we're in. Anyway, here's your title page. And this verse says, For God alone my soul waits in silence, from him comes my salvation. Psalm 62, 1. That's her focus verse for the book. And then here we start our devotions. And she has, you know, the title. Then you have a scripture to meditate on for the day. Then you have your little devotion. And then you have today's thoughts. And then you have daily, uh, I'm sorry, dig deeper. So it's scriptures to go further into what you're studying. And today's devotion really spoke to me because it just seems like all what we're going through right now and she wrote this a long time ago so yeah so uh god is an on time god i'm telling you i was getting really down about my pinch nerve the other day and uh my my journey devotion was um i think it was in second peter and it said uh, it needs be that you must suffer for a time, but in the end, I can't remember the exact verse, but it was like, it was perfect for that day. He is an on-time God. Let me see here. I sent it to my friend, so, um... It's going to be in my, um, it'll be in my photos. So let me see. If, here it is right here. So I can give you the, not that one. That one's something else that I sent to her. Here it is. It says, the God of all grace will himself restore, establish, strengthen, and support you after you have suffered a little while. And that was First Peter. 5 verse 10 and that came on the day Friday November hmm, I can't remember it was this Friday um, but it came on the exact day that I was just finally I had enough of it it just wasn't going away I actually she gave me Oxycontin and I took it, and I was up all night. It was worse. Um, and it was hard enough for me to take it because I don't like taking any kind of narcotics or anything like that. So, anyway, I was up all night. I was in pain. Because of the oxy, I hadn't taken my gabapentin. Or, no, I was actually out of gabapentin. So, I had the neur neuropathy all night. And, uh, anyway, it's just, it was a horrible night. I got no sleep whatsoever, um, and I was in so much pain, and it was just too much. And then I went, and I was doing my devotion, and I'm like, thank you, God. You're always, always. And um, another one, I was looking through, I was listening, you know, I was hurting yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. I was listening to my, my nephew's sermon, 
on Facebook and I finished his sermon because he's in Vermont and I'm in Florida so I had to listen to it. Anyway, I, I watched his sermon and then I was looking through some of the videos underneath him. And it just so happened there was a Casting Crown song, uh, Praising Through the Storm. Again, I mean, I'm just raising my hands to God, even the one that really, really hurts. <laughs> I'm raising my hand to God saying, thank you, God, I'm going to praise you through it. He is just such an on-time God. It just sometimes flabbergasts me. And what really flabbergasts me is that people don't want this. It really, I don't understand. You know, he's there. He, you know, he's someone to talk to when you can't sleep all night and you're hurting so bad it's not funny. You know, it's... I'm not going to wake Danny up. You know, he doesn't get enough sleep as it is, I'm sure, because he's tossing and turning all night. So, it's just so awesome to have God and I just don't understand how people can not want that. Anyway, so again, he's on time. So, listen to this. Okay. The scripture, is, uh, the title is, We Win in the End. He who is in you is greater than he, Satan, who is in the world. And then she has in, in parentheses of sinful mankind. And that is 1 John 4.4. 4. She doesn't have what version it is. Uh, most of us would agree that we are living in very difficult times. Among many simple and confused people, and we should be more careful than ever before to not let our emotions take the lead role in our lives. Instead of being quick to become angry or being fearful of the times we live in, we can take the Bible's advice to be as wise as serpents and gentle as doves. See Matthew 10:16. In other words, we can be spiritually mature, patient, kind and gentle with others and wise enough to know that no matter what happens God will have the final say it doesn't matter how bleak things appear in the world there is no darkness that can overcome the light of God within us remember God knows the end from the beginning he is in control we can take peace and comfort in that truth is that not an on time devotion for where we're at right now Today's thought, the world is dark, but in Christ you are full of light. So be sure to shine brightly today and every day. And then her dig deeper into the God into God's Word is study Romans 8, 37 to 39, and 1 John 5, 4 through 5. And again, this devotion book is by Joyce Meyer, and it's put out by Faith Words. And I just thought that was a really good, and it was sent to me by Hatchet Group. But I just thought that was a very good devotion for today and for the times we're in. Because I know a lot of people are stressed out right now. But as my husband tells me all the time, God is still on his throne. And he still knows what's going on. And we're going to win in the end, no matter what. It says, you know, I've read the back of the book and we win. There's a song by the cathedrals that was an airplane going over uh, that was a song by the cathedrals that um, I used to listen to and it's true I read the back of the book and we win so no matter what no matter what happens with this election or whatever keep your eyes on God because in the back of the book we're going to win at the end we're going to win alright so again this is Penny Henry from Create for Christ Designs I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up comment subscribe to my channel and uh, push that little bell to be notified if I do anything else and on Friday I'll be back and it'll be fun day Friday and I'll see if I can find something really fun to do with you guys all right so again this is Penny Henry with Create for Christ Designs I'll be back soon with another review for you bye love you guys